Okay, so uh, state your name. Jesus. Oh great, and where are you from? Orlando, Florida. Excellent, and when did you start losing your hair, Jesus? I would say in my late 20s. Okay, and how old are you now? Um, 53. Okay, great, okay. And um, tell me about any procedures you've had in the past. I understand you had another procedure uh, a couple years ago. Yes, I had a procedure a couple of years ago, but before I had a procedure, I used to wear systems. I see. A hair system, hair piece, whatever they call them, but now they call them systems. Sure, systems. sure. Okay, and uh, what year did you have your, your hair transplant? I believe it was uh, 2005. 2005, okay. And that was done in Orlando. In Orlando. Um, how do you like your results? It was good. Okay, but excellent. You know, and maybe some people don't know, but well, you continue to lose, you'll continue to lose. Right. And I'm at the point where I continue to lose the crown area. Yes. And that's what I'm here to get. So Great. Okay, yes, yeah, so the hair transplant doesn't stop the hair loss. Uh, so he's looking to, I guess, fill in the crown today and maybe touch up some of the areas that need touching up. Perfect. Well, I'm very excited, Jesus. You have a great hair type, and we'll be checking in on you throughout the procedure. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Super. Okay, here with Jesus, and at this point in the surgery, Jesus has had the strip taken out. He's all sewn up in the back, and uh, we're letting him stretch his legs a little bit. How's your day been, Jesus? So far, so good. Yeah? How was the anesthesia part? I know a little stinging here and there, but... Yeah, a little uh, stinging here and there, but then once it all kicks in, <laughs> I don't feel nothing. <laughs> How many Valium did you take today? None. Zero. No Valium, no Valium. Right, so he's actually going to drive home after the procedure. A lot of people ask, can they drive afterwards? Yeah, as long as you don't have any Valium. Uh, we're going to pick up his medicine at the pharmacy, so he has no reason to have to do anything other than go to the hotel and rest and uh, find out how much his wife spent at the mall today. So, uh, <laughs> speaking of which, we want to try to keep the stress level down, keep your blood pressure down as much as possible, uh, and rest of the next 10 days. Sutures will come out, in his case, in 12 days because this is his second surgery, and we're going to go over all the post-op stuff after, but we're going to check in a little bit. But thank you, Jesus, and uh, hey, how did you find out about natural transplants, by the way? What was your, uh, how did you find us? It was on the YouTube. Okay, so one of the videos. On YouTube, yes. Excellent. On the videos. Excellent. So that's why we're doing these videos, to basically help people in their decision process. And anyway, thanks again, Jesus, and we'll check in in a little bit. You're welcome. Okay, Dr. Hubner here. I'm here with Jesus, and we've just completed his surgery. Jesus, how was the day for you today? Good. Yeah. yeah. How much pain are you? You know, was it for you? What did you What did you do the, the day? Did you uh, Were you screaming in agony? Were you watching TV? No, just watch? watching some TV. Excellent. That's about it. Excellent. Excellent. And you can see I'm going to zoom in on the hairline here, and I'm going to show some pictures too. But you, know, you can see where his new hairline is going to be. We brought his hairline down about a pinky, and we've just jam packed the rest full of grafts. And we've also hit his crown. I'm going to come around here and show the crown. So this is absolutely jam-packed full of grafts. Incision is not visible in the back. And he's going to go home. We went over all the post-op instructions. And more importantly, with Jesus, we want to see his results. So but thank you for letting us document your surgery day. And really looking forward to seeing your results. Thanks. All right, you're welcome.